Okay, welcome to the new Don't Travel Empty vehicle maintenance system, which has been built into the Don't Travel Empty in order to complement the Don't Travel Empty coach management software system that hundreds of you are now using. So thank you very much for that. And um, this ties everything together really nicely and keeps any conflict between workshop and operations from occurring, gives you a great um, insight into what you're spending, the uh, ability to find um, information about parts and vehicles at the drop of a hat, and just basically manage your vehicle maintenance um, and to remain really compliant without having to rely on paper or um, pen. So we've got a new tab here now called the Vehicle Maintenance System, and there are four main areas. You've got all your vehicles with a complete history of everything that's ever occurred on them. You can access and view any particular safety check at any time, any part, how many miles it's done, who did what on what vehicle and when, how long it took. You've got your diary where you can create your uh, safety checks. You can allocate um, how long a period between them, how long you want the safety check to take. You can create all your suppliers and your orders and your parts and follow them from um, purchase, to order to purchase, to delivery, to payment, to allocation, to scrapping, how many miles it's done on a particular vehicle. And then we've got the stock here where we can find um, all the information about um, spend, etc. So what we'll do is we will go through a process that is going to happen in, in most coach companies uh, throughout the world, which will be we'll, we'll, we'll create a safety check for a particular vehicle. We will order a part for that particular vehicle. We will do the safety check. We will allocate a part to that vehicle and we will see um, we see how, how it works. OK, so what we'll do, first of all, is we will create an order. And um, here, assuming that you've, you've created everything and, and have set everything up uh, when you start using the system, we've got a supply in there we will have a part number and we will call this part number uh, one two three we will be ordering it for the 11th uh, we're ordering ordering on the 11th week uh, we want it delivered it's been delivered immediately we can upload now a copy of the delivery note or the invoice part name we will call it a, a wiper so we're getting a wiper and it's a Bosch wiper and we, oh, sorry, wrong one. It's a, that's part number two, supply reference two. It's a Bosch. Uh, we're going to get two of them. Not much point just getting the one. And they're 25 pounds. And there is VAT, unfortunately, on it. And we will save that as a part. So we're on the parts page here, and you'll see that um, at the bottom, we've created a part uh, for Charles Johnson here for £61.32. And uh, if we'd uploaded anything now, we could look, we could click this and view it. Uh, we haven't paid for it yet, so we don't click that button, and it hasn't been delivered. OK, so we will now go back through to the view all part of the site, and you'll see that down here we have got um, a Bosch. Um, Bosch wiper. We've ordered two. Okay, so there's two separate ones there. If one was delivered, we could actually um, allocate one as being and delivered and wait for the other one. Um, but we're hoping they're coming a pair, so we can view that there. And if we wanted to, if we had hundreds and hundreds of parts in here, and we were searching for wiper, we could go there. We click on there, and then it would show us the wipers. And that doesn't matter whether you've got one wiper blade in there or a thousand wiper blades. It will work as quickly as that. Okay. Now what we'll do is we will mark that part as being delivered and um, it will then appear as in stock. So we have to find it, uh, which is here. So we'll mark that as being delivered. Item delivered. It's delivered on the 11th. And we save it. OK, now that part has been delivered, which is brilliant. If we go back now to the parts page, list all, we will see that part and we will see that they are in stock. They're not on order anymore. They're in stock. OK, so what we'll do now is we will create a new service for a vehicle in our fleet called 303, which is the Mercedes 16 seater. We've already pre-created the safety checks and the duration that we allow for a safety check on a vehicle of this size is four hours. And we will be doing the safety check on the Monday. And we want it to start at seven in the morning and it will finish because it takes four hours at 11 o'clock. Now, at this point, if you, if you were creating this for the first time, you could book multiple services. And because we do our safety checks every four weeks, we've pre-created that within the system it will create a safety check between seven o'clock and eleven o'clock for the next month two months six months a year two years however long you want and add it to the diary 
immediately you can then go back near the time and, and physically edit each particular one and change the times etc but we will just create one safety check now for the 11th okay and if we now go to the vehicle maintenance system and we look on the diary for the 11th we should hopefully see the safety check which we can which is good and if we hover over it you will see that um, it has created a safety check okay and it's in the diary along with other safety checks which is brilliant the really nice thing is and to save any conflict between um diary uh, between workshop and um, operations is the operations diary if we now look at the operations diary for the 11th where we have a job you'll see that 303 has got a spanner attached to it and it tells us that um, there is a safety check occurring on that vehicle between seven o'clock and eleven o'clock so there's a conflict if we allocate that vehicle to that job which we still can do at least we know about the fact that it's due to be booked into the um, workshop and we can talk to the mechanics about it and maybe maybe edit the time and delay it if we if we have to and here on the on this on the on the 10th when there isn't a safety check for the vehicle the spanner has gone if we move forward a day you'll see that the spanner has appeared okay so workshop and um, operations there's no conflict anymore well we hope not anyway now if we go back into the diary and we are on the 11th and we have um started work on the safety check so we're viewing the safety check um it's in process we want to mark it as complete okay so we actually started it on the 11th we started it at uh, 7 a.m in the morning and it was finished on time maybe even a little early because they've been working hard work through their coffee break which i know don't laugh they, some mechanics do the mileage was 125 124,000. Um, this particular vehicle has passed. We can now upload the actual safety check sheet with all your ticks and um, what's what's occurred on that vehicle there. We can let, leave a message for any other user. And remember, with this new system, we have different logins being built. So you can create as admin uh, different people that can log in to view different sections of the site. So you could create a, uh, a, a login for a driver who will only be able to see their job on the diary nobody else is just their own and download their own work tickets you can create uh, a login for a person in the office who can only um create jobs but they can't um get to the diary that kind of thing so here if you had a mechanic who had to leave an, uh, a message for the operations manager they could say all good to go and the operations manager would have been created here as another user you could mark it as urgent if you wanted to and then when they log in they will get that message OK, um, we had a, um, a worker work on it. This could be uh, the name of a person. They worked on it for 3.5 hours. And then here, this is where we allocate the parts. So we start typing the wiper blaze and we are attached both of those to um, this particular vehicle. OK, and here we will then save it. So it's on the road. Now, if we go back in to list all, those wiper blades have now been allocated, as you can see, okay? And if we now go back into vehicles, list all, and we go to 303, and we go to edit, you'll be able to see the safety check that was done on the 11th. Down the bottom here, we can view it, and we can see everything that has occurred, and that will be there Add infinitum until such time as you deleted it okay um, this is version one version two three four five will be more and more comprehensive um, but we like releasing things in in small bite-sized chunks so our members get used to using them and then they get a new update and they only have to get used to using a, a, a new small section rather than releasing everything all in one go and suddenly be inundated with buttons all over the place and, and not knowing how to use the system so we hope you like it and um, and we hope it helps you stay compliant